Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about multiplicate, multiplication rule of probability. In our last class, we have done some examples on probability. So based on that example, which we already discussed in the previous class, so we, we are going to understand the concept of multiplication rule. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So first try to understand the definition of multiplication rule. Multipl in a random experiment, if A comma B are two events such that probability of A should not equal to 0 and probability of B should not equal to 0 then we can say it as probability of A intersection B what's the meaning of this this is what multiplication rule says uh, means the event A has to be obtained and event B has to be obtained that is what a probability of A intersection B it is given as a probability of A multiplied by probability of B if A obtained this is what the equation of a multiplication rule probability of b and a is given as a probability of b multiplied by probability of a if b happened so how we got these equations these equations are obtained from conditional probability so let's refresh what conditional probability means a probability of a if b happened means if someone has given you the event b then what is the probability that a is going to happen if b already happened is given as probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. If you send the A to other side, this is what we got it from the multiplication rule A intersection B. Similarly, probability of B if A happened is given as probability of B intersection A divided by probability of B. If you send the probability of B to the other side, we got the other equation. This is what the multiplication rule says. So the discussion about uh, one of the example we already discussed in our previous class. Let's refresh that example so that you will have better understanding of uh, multiplication rule. Last class example bag of 10 gold coins and 8 silver coins are there. In a bag there is uh, 10 gold coins and 8 silver coins are there. So what we have discussed is that uh, if you randomly pick uh, four, go 4 coins from the bag. This is first event. Again second time you have to pick. Uh, four coins from the bag this is second event these events are given as a a b first time you have to pick four gold coins b second time you have to pick four silver coins the probability of occurring of both the events probability of occurring of both the events is given by multiplication rule of probability of a followed by b happened so a is the first attempt understand this point a is the first attempt so what is the probability of a we will obtain if a happened what is the probability that b is going to happen that is what our multiplication equation says if a happened okay so if you want to this example we already discussed we are not going to discuss the probability again for understanding purpose we explain we just refresh the concept uh, example which we discussed previously so for dependent events and one more important point you have to understand this multiplication rule for dependent events prob probability of a in intersection b is given as probability of a followed by probability of b if a happened conditional probability applied only for dependent events for dependent events this equation is satisfied for if you are having independent events for independent events probability of a and b is given as probability of a probability of b given a but this is equal to this probability is equal to probability of b that is what we have discussed when we discussed about independent events what this says is probability of b if a happened independent events are not affected with other event occurrence if a occurred or not we don't bother independent events the probability of b is same even if a occurred or not occurred so probability of b if a occurred whether a occurred or not occurred independent events probability is not going to affect so probability of B if A occurred means if A, B are independent events then we can say it as probability of B. So probability of A intersection B is given as a probability of A multiplied by probability of B. Okay, We can extend this equation to any, any numbers. In order to make you understand this, so 
so we have taken the two two variables then we are going to three variables uh, you can extend this to n variables also extend to n n events also probability of a intersection b intersection c is given as probability of a multiplied by probability of b if a happened multiplied by probability of c if a intersection b means a b happened like this you can extend to any number hope you understand the concept of multiplication rule you can we are going to use uh, do many examples on multiplication rule and whatever the concepts uh, which we already discussed in our previous classes in our coming classes we will do some examples hope you understand the concept of multiplication rule if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you